Live from the Script Studios, this is San Diego's news source, 10 News. Toyota is paying up for misleading drivers about major safety issues in its vehicles, including one that killed a family in Santee. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder announced the $1.2 billion settlement this morning. The Department of Justice also filed its criminal charge against the Japanese automaker. When car owners get behind the wheel, they have the right to expect that their vehicle is safe. And part of the auto, if part of the automobile turns out to have safety issues, the car company has a duty up front to uh, tell customers about them, to fix them quickly, and to immediately tell the truth about the problem, as well as the scope of that problem. Toyota misled drivers about sudden acceleration and gas pedal problems. The settlement is the largest penalty of its kind imposed by the U.S. on any automaker. Toyota issued a statement today saying we have made fundamental changes across our global operations to become a more responsive company, listening better to our customers' needs and proactively taking action to serve them. And while the relatives of Mark Saylor and his late wife will see none of that money, they do have the satisfaction of knowing that their deaths led directly to today's action. 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins live at the scene of the crash with why the U.S. attorney says it should have been prevented. Hannah? Bill, I can tell you that family was driving on the 125. This right here is where the freeway ends. It is just hard to imagine the terror as they drove straight on 100 feet ahead. And a U.S. attorney said the company knew about the problem that killed them two years earlier. By the company's own admissions, it protected its brand ahead of its own customers. Attorney General Eric Holder didn't hold back on the heels of a four year criminal investigation into one of the world's biggest car companies. This constitutes a clear and reprehensible abuse of the public trust. U.S. Attorney Pete Barrara said Toyota knew about floor mat troubles back in 2007. Well, two years later, tragedy struck. That tragedy that started the investigation happened here in Santee in 2009. An off-duty CHP officer called 911 and said they were going 120 miles an hour. The gas pedal was stuck and the brakes wouldn't work. These were the horrific sounds that followed. Hello? This is the crash that killed Officer Mark Saylor, a 20-year CHP veteran, his wife, teenage daughter, and brother-in-law. The immediate aftermath of that fatal accident brought intense public scrutiny, as well as multiple investigations. Barrara says in a misguided PR move, the company was two-faced when it should have been transparent to customers and to the feds. Rather than come clean, the company covered up and misled again and again and again. So they're going to pay like no company has paid before to the tune of $1.2 billion. Toyota said they've rededicated themselves to earning the public's trust and have made major changes to improve the safety of the cars and the people in them. We're live in Santee, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.